Well, I hope you enjoyed that one. You're going to wow and amaze your friends when you break out your driver to hit it around that tree. Now, when it comes to drivers, I want to talk for just a minute about exactly the way center of gravity works and how it's going to relate to your distance. You know, the way you tee it up and the way you strike it can make a huge difference on how far the ball is going to go. Now, the way the club works, it's quite interesting, actually. Whenever you hit off center on a golf club, it'll twist. There's one part on the club where it won't twist at all. Now, a club will also twist top to bottom. If you hit the ball on the bottom of the club, below the center of gravity, it'll twist downward like this. Well, it acts somewhat like a gear effect when you do that. When the club face twists down, the ball adds backspin, and so it can climb up into the air. The opposite is true if you hit above the center of gravity. If you hit it above the center of gravity, the club will actually twist this way. And so now it produces a situation where the club's turning this way, ball is now spinning less. It's going to have a higher launch angle and a lower spin rate, which is really good for distance. So when it comes to teeing off with your driver to get your maximum power, you've got to go ahead and tee it up in the air so that you can catch it on this high part on the golf club. That's also why you never tee it low into the wind, because if you hit it on the bottom of the club, because you tee it too low, it'll have too much backspin and it'll spin up into the air. I was with a friend of mine on the PGA Tour, and we were going around in his practice round, and I found that he had teed the ball only about a, an inch, maybe three quarters of an inch up into the air. And after he hit his ball, the tee was still facing straight up, which means he didn't touch the tee. The ball was struck right on the bottom of the club. I had a little conversation about why you need to hit it up on the high part of the club. He went ahead and teed one up in the air high, hit the ball. When we got out there, it was 37 yards difference. And I'll tell you what, on the PGA Tour, that much distance difference, you might as well have said 300 yards difference. So that was a huge distance improvement by teeing it up and striking it correctly.